My supervisor at the restaurant keeps asking me out. We're supposed to dress sexy, and he's always telling me I'd look good in a shorter skirt because I have nice legs. He makes me so nervous. I don't want to go out with him. I'm afraid to say anything because he could cut my shifts or fire me. I really need this job. About six months ago, I told my coworkers about my they, them pronouns. It was fine at first, but a couple of them started making comments behind my back. And in the lunchroom last week, they were talking about my sex life right in front of me, saying things like, who's the man in your relationship? I feel sick going to work every day. My boss is good. She notices my work and has given me a couple of promotions, which I appreciate. But she's, I guess, inappropriate sometimes. She puts her hands on my shoulders when she comes into my office. She kind of flirts and says suggestive things. As a guy, I feel weird about complaining. I mean, it's not like she's hurting me, but I don't like it. These words and behaviors are all workplace sexual harassment. Workplace sexual harassment is unwanted or humiliating sexual or romantic comments or behavior. This can happen on the job, at work-related functions, and even after working hours. It can happen once or repeatedly as part of a pattern. It's a form of discrimination. The harasser can be your coworker, manager, boss, someone hired by your employer like a consultant or contractor, or even a client, customer, or donor. Harassment can happen in person, online, by text message, or on the phone. It can happen privately or in front of others. One in four Canadian women and one in six men has been the target of sexual harassment in the workplace, according to a recent Statistics Canada report. Sexual harassment is never okay. I called the RISE program. After discussing all my options, I decided to pursue a legal route. There are three legal options if you experience workplace sexual harassment. RISE can help you understand each one and how they might apply to your specific situation. You can file a human rights complaint with the Canadian or PEI Human Rights Commission. You can file a civil lawsuit and sue your harasser and or your employer for the impacts of the workplace sexual harassment. You can inform the police or RCMP. The police can help you understand whether or not a crime was committed under the Criminal Code of Canada. I've decided to try working through this with my employer. My union rep went over the company's sexual harassment policy with me, so now I know what to do next. I hope it works out. And if not, I'll go to the Labor Relations Board. You also have administrative or non-legal options if you experience workplace sexual harassment. First, you can tell your employer or your union. On PEI, employers must have a sexual harassment policy, and you have the right to access it. It should outline the process for making a complaint and what your employer must do. You can also report to one of three boards on PEI, the Occupational Health and Safety Division of the Workers' Compensation Board of PEI, for non-unionized employees, the Employment Standards Board, and for unionized employees, the Labor Relations Board. This thing with my boss is really stressing me out. My wife says I should just talk to her about it, but I don't think I can. I know I shouldn't be embarrassed, but I am. I called my doctor and made an appointment. I can't sleep. You don't have to officially report workplace sexual harassment. If you feel comfortable and safe, you can try talking directly with the person harassing you, but you are not obligated to. If you do choose to talk with your harasser, visit the RISE website for tips on how to help you do it effectively and safely. It can also be helpful to talk with your doctor, nurse practitioner, or a counselor. They have a professional obligation to keep your information confidential. RISE can connect you with community supports. Have you experienced workplace sexual harassment on PEI? RISE can help. Contact us today for information, support, and legal advice. Our services are free and confidential.